हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई शैल बी डिस्कसिंग हेल्थ इंडिकेटर्स सो वाई यू नीड हेल्थ इंडिकेटर्स सो वेन यू हैव टू आंसर हाउ हेल्थी इज द गिवन कम्युनिटी यू रिवायर सम इंडिकेटर्स टू मेजर द हेल्थ ऑल दो वी कैन नॉट मेजर हेल्थ बट वी कैन प्रिडिक्ट और वी कैन come to some opinion with the help of the following indicators indicators are not allowed only to measure the health status of a community but also to compare the health status of one country with another country for assessment of healthcare needs when you have to allocate resources and you have scarcity of resources you require indicators so that on the based of indicators you can allocate funds for monitoring and evaluation of health services which you are providing the health activities and the various national health programs which are running at present indicators help to measure the extent to which the objectives and targets of a program are being attained so what you call health indicator or health index it has been suggested that in relation to health trends the term indicator is to be preferred whereas health index is generally considered to be result of combining health indicators so what a indicator should have indicator should be valid means should measure but supposed to be measure indicator should be reliable answer should be same if measured by different people in same situation at different places should be sensitive sensitive to changes in the situation concerned should be specific they should reflect changes only in the situation concerned should be feasible they should have the ability to obtain data needed and should be relevant should contribute to the understanding of the phenomena of interest so let us answer this question can we measure health no no single indicator can measure the health so we use multiple indicators to reach some consensus so we use different type of indicators like mortality indicators morbidity indicators disability rates neutral uh, nutritional status indicators health care delivery indicators utilization rates indicators of social and mental health environmental indicators socio economic indicators health policy indicators indicators of quality of life and there are many other indicators so you can see there are multiple indicators here mentioned we use different type of indicators for different purposes so let's have a look about mortality indicators so there are plenty of mortality indicators but we will talk here only the few because the rest of the indicators will be covered in epidemiology and other various chapters so what is crude death rate so in simple words it defined as the number of deaths per thousand population per year in a community so what is expectation of life it is the average number of years that will be lived by those who born alive into a population if the current age specific mortality rates persist means when a person get birth so how many years at current situation he will live next one is the age specific death rates these are defined as the total number of deaths occurring in a specific age group of the population in a defined area during a specific period per 1000 estimated total population of the same age group so if we have to find out round about how many deaths are occurring between 15 years to 24 years so we use age specific death rates infant mortality rate it is a ratio of deaths under 1 year of age in a given year to the total number of livers in the same year 
and if you have to come express in rate then we use number of deaths per thousand live births means 1000 live births if take place then how many dies before the first birthday child death rate this is number of deaths at ages 1 to 4 years in a given year per 1000 children in the age group at the midpoint of the year concerned for example if you calculating the child death rate of 2018 then we will see number of deaths which occurred from 1 to 4 years of age per 1000 children and the total population of 1 to 4 years at 1st July of 2018 under 5 proportion mortality rate this is the proportion of the total deaths occurring in the under 5 age group means to if there are 100 deaths total including adults then out of 100 how many are less than 5 years adult mortality rates probability of dying between the age of 15 and 60 years per 1000 populations this is the deaths between 15 to 60 years per 1000 population and what is maternal mortality rate this is the number of maternal deaths per 1 lakh live births then we have disease specific mortality rates for example if there are 100 deaths in one month then if you have to find out how many are deaths due to the cardiovascular diseases out of these 100 then this will be the disease specific mortality rates proportional mortality rate means if there is a total number of deaths how much proportion is contributed by the some specific disease or specific age or specific gender or specific female for example if you calculate all deaths all over the world you can say now that 71 percent of the total deaths are due to the non-communicable diseases then the case fatality rates this measure the risk of person dying from a certain disease within a given time period for example some person is having a disease then what is the case fatality means what are the chances of his dying from that disease some diseases have 100 percent case fatality rate like what can you give me an example rabies so rabies has a 100 percent case fatality rates then years of potential life lost YPLL years of potential life lost through premature death means you were supposed to be died for example at 75 years okay and you died at 30 years so you lost 45 years of potential life mortality indicators do not reveal the burden of ill health in the community so we require the morbidity indicators for supplementation of health status so we use incidence and prevalence these will be discussed more in epidemiology although in simple words incidence is the number of new cases and the prevalence is the total number of cases including new and old then we have notification rates different notifications from different type of diseases from hospitals then we have attendance rates what are the OPD attendance rates what are the specific OPD attendance rates what are the IPD attendance rates we have admissions readmission discharges and duration of stay in the hospitals and how many times you get sick and how many times you are absent from work or school due to illness these all are morbidity indicators then we have other indicators those are disability rates 
usually we divide these in two groups one is the event type indicators which include number of days of restricted activity bad disability days and work loss days within a specific period the ne uh, next type of category is the person type indicators where have limitation of mobility and the limitation of activity so these indicators this uh, gives us the disability rates so other disability indicators which are important to us one is the hail that is health adjusted life expectancy it was earlier known as disability adjusted life expectancy it is based on life expectancy at birth but includes an adjustment for time spent in poor health it means as the equivalent number of years in full health that a new one can expect to live based on current rates of ill health and mortality then another one comes is the quality adjusted life years quality it is based on number of years of life that would be added by intervention each year of perfect health is assigned a value of 1 down to value of 0 for death 0 and for a perfect health value is given 1 for example one quality is equal to one year of life into one utility value that is equal to one quality is year of life lived in perfect health once one quality is equal to one year of life in perfect health half a year lived in perfect health is equivalent to 0.5 quality that means one year into 0.5 utility value so another one is the disability free life expectancy so you can other words you can say it is the active life is the average number of years an individual is expected to live free of disability is current pattern of morbidity and disability continue to apply so another we have daily that is disability adjusted life years it's a measure of overall disease burden expressed as a number of years lost due to ill health or disability or early death so it combines years of lost lives means calculated from the number of deaths at each age multiplied by the expected remaining years of life according to global standard life expectancy years of lost disability yld where the number of incident cases due to injury and illness is multiplied by the average duration of the disease and a weighting factor reflecting the severity of the disease on a scale from 0 perfect health to 1 dead so daily is calculated by the formula years of lost life plus years lost to disability that is equal to daily then we have nutritional status indicators usually we use incidence of low birth weight and weight and height standards for children up to 5 of years under nutritional status indicators when you have to measure the healthcare delivery then we use healthcare delivery indicators and for this we use doctor to population ratio means how many doctors are there for a specific population doctor to nurse ratio population to bed ratio population per health sub center how much population is being covered by one health sub center population per train worth attends so for healthcare delivery we frequently use these indicators then comes the utilization rates what services you are providing how often or how they are utilized we require utilization rates so utilization of services or actual coverage is expressed as the proportion of people in need of service who actually receive it in given period usually a year 
it is affected by factors such as availability and accessibility of health services and the attitude of an individual towards his health and the healthcare system a few examples of utilization rates are cited below proportion of infants who are fully immunized proportion of pregnant women who receive antenatal care percentage of population using the various methods of family planning bed occupancy rate average length of stay in the hospital and the bed turnover ratio so few indicators for your social and mental health so this includes the suicides homicide other acts of violence and other crimes the road traffic accidents juvenile delinquency alcohol drug abuse smoking consumptions of tranquilizers obesity etc so these figures these numbers give us the social and mental health of a community so we have another here the battered baby and battered wife syndromes so what is battered baby so when you blow someone or have physical injury to the babies or the ladies in domestic violence so they are called the battered baby or battered wife so to measure the environment we have few environmental indicators so environmental indicators they reflect the quality of physical and biological environment they include indicators relating to pollution of air and water radiation solid waste noise exposure to toxic substances in food and drink etc so the proportion of population having access to safe water and sanitary facilities etc also comes under the environmental indicators so we have the socio economic indicators so these include at which rate the population of a community is increasing the per capita gnp that is gross national product level of unemployment in a community dependency ratio literacy rates especially the female literacy rates and the family size housing number of persons per room and the per capita calorie availability for a family or for a person then we have the health policy indicators proportion of gross national product is spent on health services proportion of gnp spent on health related activities proportion of total health resources devoted to primary health care so few indicators we have for quality of life those are physical quality of life index that is pqlli it measures infant mortality life expectancy at age 1 and literacy and it is scaled to 0 to 100 another one is human developmental index hdi that is life expectancy at birth ability to acquire knowledge that is means year of schooling and per capita income social indicators so as per the united nation they are divided into 12 categories which include population family formation families and households learning and educational services earning activities distribution of income consumption and accumulation social security welfare services health services nutrition housing environment public order safety time leisure and culture social stratification and mobility then we have few the basic need indicators those include calorie consumption access to water life expectancy deaths due to diseases illiteracy doctors and nurses populations rooms per person and gnp per capita then we have few special indicators so first one is the health for all indicators so who the world health organization gave few goals which was supposed to be achieved by 
which included health policy indicators, social and economic indicators, indicators for provision for health care and health status indicators. In 2000, after the review of this health for all indicators, WHO came, came up with the Millennium Development Goals which were adopted in 2000 and to be achieved by 2015. So here are the few only which discussed here which were related to health. The goal one was eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. hunger. The goal fourth was reduce child mortality. Goal five was improve maternal health. Goal six was to combat HIV and AIDS, malaria and other diseases. Goal 7 was ensure environmental sustainability and goal 8 develop a global partnership for development and research. So in 2015 when these goals were reviewed and we WHO came to know the maximum number of the countries had not achieved these goals they came up with sustainable development goals which was to be achieved by 2030 and they are 17 goals and 169 targets and goal 3 in SDG is exclusively for health and uh, about SDGs we will discuss later on in brief. So fourth one is the global reference list of core health indicators 2018. The global reference list is standard set of 1000 core indicators prioritized in four domains and these are number one is the health status indicators which include mortality by age and sex, mortality by cause, fertility, morbidity and the second one is the risk factor indicators which include nutrition, infection, environmental risk factors, non-communicable diseases injury harmful traditional practices the third one is the service coverage indicators which include reproductive maternal newborn child and adolescent health immunization hiv hiv and tb collaborations tuberculosis malaria neglected tropical diseases screening and preventive care maternal health substance abuse and essential health services and the fourth Subheading of special indicators is health system indicators, which include quality and safety of care, access to health care, health workforce, health information, health financing, health secure, uh, security, and governance. The fifth one is the health index of India, and that is Niti Aayog. So, Niti Aayog, you all know, have divided states and UTs in three categories the larger states 20 smaller states 8 and UT 9 the health index is weighted composite index which is includes three basic indicators one is health outcomes 70 percent contribution governance and information 12 percent key inputs and process 18 percent so now the Niti Aayog based on these three health outcomes governance and information and key input and processes they are ranking the states and union territories and they are giving the health index so this all about the lecture today the health indicators you can see that we use different type of indicators for different type of health related measurements but no indicator fulfills all the six qualities which we discussed so we require different type of indicators for different type of purpose and to express health which you can see is very difficult to measure we require specific indicators for specific type of measurements i am thankful for i am thank thanks for listening and if you like to have 
or go through more lectures on community medicines you can subscribe subscribe to our channel that is www.youtube.com slash c slash health and family and frequently we keep on updating the new lectures which will help you to clear your doubts or gain extra knowledge for your competitive examinations thank you